What's going on YouTube? It's Arlen and I'm back with another video. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing well. Everybody's safe, you know, just staying out the way, staying tucked, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, I'm using my baby, babyless liners to uh, to make the ball line. I'm using these ones in particular because they are my bald, uh, my bald and clippers um, because they're not as sharp. So um, I'm, I'm make sure that the, the ball line is straight and um, because I'm not really going too high in the back because I want to keep the shape, especially in this afro taper. So just keep that in mind, you guys. Shape does matter. Hey, so I had to cut this off real quick and interrupt because I got these new little um, balders. I don't know exactly what they're called, but they're, they're very tiny and they do the job for like the, just to get the little areas so um yeah i had to i had to say it because these they come in handy for like if you want to get the mustache or the little on the taper on the little taper on the side and um everything else so i mean i don't know what they're called i'll figure out what they're called and i'll let you guys know on how to get them but to make our first guy line we are using our magic clips my uh you know my my, my nice see-through magic clips <laughs> um open lever doing an inch inch maybe half an inch about an inch um guy line uh, making sure that my uh i'm cutting every single hair in every single direction because sometimes people hair grow to the left or to the right you always want to go against the grain so always think about which way their hair is going and then you cut accordingly to how their hair pattern is so we are closing up the uh the blade here and um we're using our corners as you guys can see i'm pointing at my corners we use the corners uh, to use it you get you're more precise when you use the corners so you do the corners then you go close halfway open cut against the grain always if hair pattern is different directions um, close halfway open play with the levers a lot find your little niche and um, yeah just make it as light and blurry as possible <laughs> So on the next step, we have our number one guard on our magic clips, the red guards. Uh, I don't remember where I got them from, but um, they're basically just the same as the um, the the black guards. So um, I'm doing a half an inch, a little bit lower than a half an inch uh, to set in my guy line because I don't want to make a hard line to uh, to so I won't be able to. Uh, make the shape or and i'm also flicking out the top so it, it just makes it so much easier so when i do shape it up and um it'll just make it easier and it won't be hard to take out so flick out you guys and uh, keep the shape <laughs> So now we're going in with our one and a half guard um, right here. Um, what I'm doing is that I'm trying to lighten up that dark spot above the number one guard. So I am just using it to shape the head. Um, as you guys can see, when I'm bringing it up, it's not really. I'm not really digging into the head. I'm, I'm using that one and a half, like um, like as you guys can. Do you guys know when somebody like shapes the head with like with no guard? Think about it, I'm doing it basically the same way, but I'm using a guard to guard it, you know? Like, I'm using it as like a, to be like an extra safety. You know, like in bowling, you know, you use the, you know, the little, you know, the thingies. You know what I'm talking about, right? And when you bowl, it, it's basically the same thing, you guys. If you guys get my analogy. <laughs> So now that you guys can see that that um, I shaped it in nice and neat, we're gonna be coming in with our zero guard. Um, you always want to brush the hair down, especially with coarse hair, because their hair is very curly and it, it curls up when you put the guard through the hair. So you always want to swipe, 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 and then brush. Swipe, 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 and then brush. Always do that so it can so you can see which hair you are cutting, and it makes it. It's like um 
when people do a tattoo when they you know they do the ink and then they wipe it off you want to see what you're cutting and you want to have a good visual of what you're doing i mean that makes it makes it easier for everything you know in anything you do so we use a zero guard we're doing like a we do um open just to lighten it up to see what it, what our guard does and then we do a uh close and then halfway and then you play with the levers a lot to however you want it to look you know so i mean obviously you want to make it blurry so just do whatever you can to make it blurry use the corners a lot uh, especially in tapers or in general so yeah and also i get i i say this way i'm cutting his hair to the left because his hair grows that way you know so you always want to do that because it, it makes it so much easier it makes it look more cleaner when you cut against the grain instead of cutting it just straight up The same steps as before to uh, to uh, set in our, our our bald lines. So we use our our um, babyest liners to set in the bald line. Make sure that it's straight. We're doing a high taper, so we're taking out the uh, the little arch, and then we're gonna come in with our balders to clean up and make it as smooth as possible. So on the side taper, I'm gonna be using a different clipper. I'm gonna be using my uh, my seniors, but here's the catch. My seniors with the Andis Master blade on it. So um, basically it's just like another master, but it's um, cordless and it's on a wall. So it cuts the same, but um, it does come out very nice. It's, um, it cuts very smoothly, y'all. Um, the way to do it, I don't know how exactly how to do it. You just gotta take apart some pieces of your clipper and put the blade in. But I mean, it comes out very, it comes out nice and it comes out very clean. Um, so uh, we're doing a so we set our first guideline about half an inch, and then now we're coming in with our um, closed lever and then halfway, and then just make sure you clean it all up. Uh, use the corners a lot and um, just make sure that um, and also just uh, when you're doing a taper always brush down the hair i'm using the corners the entire time because i'm nitpicking at every little dark spot i see um so don't don't be afraid to take your time and just do all that cleanup work you guys because um it it, it pays off once you're you know when you're done with the cut and everything so we're doing our two guard now the purple guards uh, i'm just doing it so i can take off the bulk on the side um I'm going in and I'm raising out exactly what I did with the number one and a half guard in the back taper. Uh, I'm not really trying to um, to make a hard line. I'm just doing it just to take off some bulk so I can see what I'm cutting and shaping it up at the same time. So on this part, we are using our number one guard to um, just to take off some light or some dark spots on the, um, this taper right here. So we did use a number two guard, so we know not to go past it because uh, the number one is obviously a, a lower number and it would just make it a lot worse if you went higher. So uh, we're just picking out all the dark spots, we're using the corners, playing with the levers a lot, and um, make sure that you press down and uh just follow these steps you guys it, it is easy steps i guarantee you guys will get better at tapering um from watching my videos not to be cocky but yeah so now we're gonna do our number zero guard and uh we're just gonna take out that bottom last piece of the hair on the taper so that way it just all come together and look more smooth. Um, we, we closed it up and then now we're just playing with our levers, using the corners, brushing the hair down. Um, just trying to eliminate all the dark spots as we can. Um, so yeah, just, um, just be careful, especially on tapers because uh, 
you, you want to keep it in that general area you don't want to go too light on you know around the ear or go too high um, while trying to keep a good shape so just uh, if you follow my steps you guys you guys will see So now for the lineup part, uh, start from the middle and then go from left to right or right to left. That's how I do it. I've actually tried a different way. I tried going from um, right, starting off at the right side and then going to the left side. Honestly, man, it, to me, I mean, it's all in preference. I like doing it the way I do it. You guys can do it the way you do it. Um, either way, as long as the, the hairline comes out straight and crispy, I mean, there's really no, uh, there's no way to do it. I just, I'm just giving you my advice of how I do it so you guys can learn and try it out you know um but my client he has it's a little bit crispier on the sides like oh well, the hairline on the side so um i'm gonna eventually come in with enhancements to take it out because his um since we did a high taper on him the, the side lineup is not so dark so uh we're gonna come in enhancements i'm, a, I'm actually gonna show it whoever you guys always Go on my, my, my comments say you didn't show the enhancements, blah, blah. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Jeez. So for the enhancements, um, we're using um, the paint. I don't know what it is. I think it's like Kiss Express. I think that's what it's called. Um, just make sure when you do put it in your air gun or your airbrush machine that you do put the paint and then you either put aftershave or water just so it, it thins it out so it doesn't get stuck in the gun. Um, so how I do my uh, enhancements, I just, I follow the original lineup that I did previously and then I just, um, I just, I don't want to put too much, but I don't want to put too little because, I mean, obviously I want people to know I'm doing, using enhancements. So I, I just, I kind of just have neutralize it, you know, I, do, I don't want to make it too dark or too light. So just um, make sure that you do follow your your natural or your, your previous line you did before. Make sure that it's crispy before, because you don't, some people, they don't like it. So, I mean, I usually do it in my videos, so um, my haircuts stand out more, so. Um, yeah, just make sure you follow your, your previous lineup. So right here, I never really showed you guys me doing like the, you know, the pencil little ash looking mark on the hairline. Uh, I've been just doing it recently and I actually like how it comes out. So, um, I'm using, um, I don't know what the brand of the pencil is. I think you just type in on, on, on Amazon or something, just put like, like hair pencils or hair yeah something like that but um so we're just uh make, we're just following the uh the hairline and everything the reason i do it because i mean honestly it really makes the hairline just pop out just think about it when a, when a girl does their eyebrows they put that that white stuff around you know the edge or the little stuff around the edge to make it more pop that's basically what we're doing to the hairline right here you know just make sure that it because it makes it look way crisper you guys will see in a second when i'm done with everything so stay tuned Hey man, so hey, this video is about wrapped up. I want to thank you guys so much for supporting me and my YouTube. Um, I know I've been dropping a little bit more consistently than usual than before previous months or years. So um, thank you guys a lot. I mean, it really does mean a lot to me. I'm up to like, I think like 8K now in subscribers. I, I never thought I would even make it to, you know, 1,000 or a 
5,000, I mean, it's just getting bigger and bigger, and I, it, I couldn't have done it without you guys. So if you guys do not follow me on my, my socials, my Instagram is at the top left. Um, and please hit that thumb, that thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. It'll mean a lot to me. Put that post notifications on for your homeboy, you guys, so you see when I'm dropping daily or weekly. So stay tuned. This is Arlen. I'm out. Take it easy, you guys. Stay safe. Thank you.